What's up brownies? I started off this hairstyle by using the edge of her eye as my guide to make a slanted part all the way over to the rear of her left ear. Next I made another part starting behind her right ear and I just took that part all the way up to the part that we just made. So now we have three sections. Now I'm going to take the left section and divide it into two by making a part that will go up and connect to that part we just made behind her right ear. So now I'm going to take the hair that we just sectioned off and we're going to divide it into two sections. And we're going to braid these two sections. I decided to add a little curve at the beginning of this part just to add a little definition to it. If you are new to this and not quite good at making your parts, don't be too hard on yourself. Just do the best you can at it and keep going. And with practice and time, you'll get much better. Don't be so hard on yourself. Now I'm going to go to the rear of her head and just make a curved part from the nape of her neck all the way up to the midpoint in her head. Once I get her part just the way I want it, I'm going to go ahead and cornrow that section of hair and I'm going to continue this same pattern of parting it in the curve and cornrowing all the way around until I complete the rear section of her hair. Now that the rear is complete, I'm going to go up to the front section of her head and we're going to make like a sort of curvy type part and we're going to do the same thing. Once we get our first part established, I'm going to braid it up and then I'm going to continue the same pattern that I do for the part to the next section and we're going to keep going until the front of her hair is all braided up. When I am styling Aisha's hair, I'm not aiming for perfection. My whole goal is just to get a cute result. For whatever the hairstyle turns out to be, I just want it to be cute. So just keep that in mind when you're styling your daughter's hair. Hey, she's not a paying client, so um, every single braid or cornrow does not have to be perfect. Just do your best because you're learning, and as time goes, you'll get better, and you will enjoy every single hairstyle that you do on your child's hair. So here's how it looks so far. I pretty much completed the front. So now we're going to go over to the right side of her head and we're pretty much going to continue in this same pattern making that curved part all the way up to the midpoint of her head and just braiding and you keep going until you're done.
Look at my pearly white. Well, that's it for this hairstyle. I'll spin her around so that you can see the results. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you subscribe and we'll catch you later, brownies. Bye.